I'm Hannah from Enemy and I am backstage at All Points East with Willow Kane. Hello. Hello guys, I'm Willow. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure. How is it going? Getting towards the end of the festival season, how's it been for you? It's been a sick run. Well, I only did my first festival less than a year ago, so this year has been insane. We did some sick ones. We did Glastonbury, mate. It was great. Whatever. Yeah, it was brilliant. I was going to say, I'm sure there's loads of highlights, but what was Glastonbury like? Glastonbury I mean, was lit. That was like a bucket list thing. Thought that would come a lot later on. It was just sick, mate, because it's, it's near where I grew up. Well, it's in the area I grew up, so it's just... I was bumping into my teachers. I was bumping into, like, family. It was just... Everyone was there. It was... The energy there was just insane. I've never seen anything like it. It was brilliant. You know, you released White City a couple of months ago now. How's yeah. it been playing it live? I imagine it's been amazing. That one's lit because, yeah. Well, it's a bit of a slower one, but it's one of my favourite tunes. It's wicked. Um, the reaction to that has been bloody lovely. But I hope to have a children's choir with me on stage one day. That's actually <laughs> the goal, seriously. And that is the perfect tune for it. Amazing. For sure. And you've got a new tune coming up. I do, it's called Rat Race, yes. comes out on the 22nd of August. Amazing. <laughs> Tell me about it. Tell me about writing that one. Rat Race. Well, I've just had, there's been a quite a common theme with all the new stuff. It's actually, the first project was very like, na 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 na. And this next project is kind of about my experience in this, in London, but in this industry really as well. Mm -hmm. So Rat Race is just about my kind of perception on London and how everything's so far, so you've got to keep yeah. up. And yeah, kind of delves into that. It's a bit of a brain fart, that one, but I love it. Yeah, I was going to ask, was it quite cathartic writing it, kind of giving it as a Yeah, that was a bit experience. of a, that one's definitely like a diary entry tune, which is wicked that people love that stuff, because yeah. I don't even think I thought, I, was, I didn't really think I was even going to come out when I first wrote it, so it's rewarding. Love it. And is it part of a bigger project at all? Yeah, yeah. I've got a project pretty much done, actually, okay. in the works. Yeah, and that kind of delves into loads of stuff. We've got this synesthesia it delves into, okay. experience in London. Yeah, big diary entry. Do you have synesthesia? Well, I didn't even know what the, what <laughs> that was until recently. I was we were in a meeting and I was like, because obviously, you know, the project is really orange and, you know, you know, da, da, da. Yeah. and everyone was kind of looking at me like a weirdo. I was like, what? So just did a bit more research into it. I actually need to properly delve into that, <laughs> but I have that with, like, it's just a weird, I thought everyone kind of had it with um, putting colours to songs. Yeah. But yeah, so I feel that a lot, like at my live shows we do that a lot. But we, um, I like that kind of sensory thing. So like at my headline shows we put, I made smells for each of the songs Amazing. that get released into the crowd with the colour. So it's like a 4D like psh. Yeah. So yeah, I love all the sensory, Ugh. it's great. So what scent would like, for example, White City be? White City, well all the darker tunes are like really woody smells, kind yeah. of amber, that kind of vibe. White City, White City is a very orange tune, so that would be a very a, a citrusy smell if oh, you will. Lovely. Yeah, but I can definitely put the tunes into different categories, it's quite weird actually, but yeah. That's amazing. Um, and kind of with this new project, I won't try and tease too much out for you, <laughs> but I guess at this point if you could describe it in three words, how would you describe it currently? Very colourful, very nostalgic. And very mishmash. Is that, that doesn't count as a word. I think it counts. It's a proper mixture of different vibes, but they all kind of work together. You know, that's my kind of my thing. But yeah, it's a proper mishmash of um, genres, Amazing. as I love. Um, and last time Enemy spoke to you, we kind of discussed um, working with Nile Rogers. But at that point, mainly online. Yeah. Have you got in the studio? Yeah, well, but I mean, when we when that first came about, we we were doing some sessions. Oh, Niall amazing. is literally everywhere. He is omnipresent. I think he might be Jesus. Because seriously, yeah. <laughs> that guy is just everywhere. But um, when he's in London, yeah, we shout each other. Oh. But he's yeah, good egg, mate. Very yeah. good egg. What's like the best thing you've learned from working with him? I think I definitely thought there was some like crazy like tactical formula to writing a to making it a banger and for him actually his main thing is he's like it has to start with the hook mm. so I guess there's that but on the other side of that it's just like there's no real like this is what you have to do to make a banger it's just going with it really so yeah which was very lucky to hear actually kind of <laughs> release a lot of stress so that was great <laughs> amazing and looking to the future you've just announced your debut UK tour 
How exciting. Yes, ma'am. Very exciting. Very exciting indeed. What can we expect from it? What have you been doing to prepare? I just forget that people even listen to my tunes, mate. So the fact we're doing it in so many cities is like... <laughs> but yeah, what? it will be a multi-sensory madness. Amazing. What's it like when people are singing like the hooks back to you and stuff? Mate, I feel like when I was younger, I was proper chasing like chasing this euphoria through many different elements and yeah. products. <laughs> And then I got on stage, people singing your tunes to you. It's like the biggest reward I've ever felt. It's the euphoria I've been, I was looking for in all the wrong places. So who would have thought it would be something wholesome, mate? Oh, Christ. But yeah, <laughs> very rewarding. Amazing. Well, I think that is the perfect place to finish. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me.